When it comes to knee injuries, choosing the right treatment is crucial for both good rehabilitation and long-term outcomes. Meniscus repair surgery and total knee arthroplasty are two common treatments for knee injuries. However, it may be difficult to decide which one is right for you. This video will explore the differences between meniscus repair and total knee arthroplasty so that you can decide which one is right for you. Hi, my name is Chris Brandt and I'm a licensed physical therapist at EW Motion Therapy in Birmingham. I see clients every day and help them gain strength and mobility before surgery and then get them back to doing what they wanna do after surgery. Today, I'm gonna to go over what a meniscus repair is, what a total knee arthroplasty is, how they're different, and what is gonna be the best for you. Your meniscus is a crescent-shaped piece of cartilage. We have two of them in both of our knees. You have one on the inside of your knee and one on the outside of your knee. Your meniscus acts as a shock absorber and shock distributor for all sorts of activities while you're walking and moving and while you're standing. The meniscus is typically damaged during extreme rotations of the knee. Meniscus surgery is typically recommended for patients with a tear who have pain, limited mobility, or functional impairments such as difficulty getting in and out of a chair. Not everyone is a good candidate for meniscus repair surgery. It can depend a lot on the location of the tear, the size of the tear, your age and your activity level. When it comes to meniscus repairs, there are three main types of meniscus repairs. The first is a meniscectomy, where the surgeon makes very small incisions and basically trims out where the meniscus tear is. The second type of meniscus repair is a true meniscus repair, where the surgeon will go back in the knee and where the meniscus is torn, they'll put a stitch or a suture right where that meniscus tear is. The third type of meniscus repair is not really a meniscus repair at all. It is a total meniscus removal, and that is typically done when there is extreme damage or there have been a lot of different surgeries that have happened in the knee. Following a meniscus repair or meniscectomy, recovery time can vary a whole lot, but you can expect to slowly return to weight-bearing activities gradually over a few weeks, and then it may even take a few months to get back to doing what you want to do. The success rate of meniscus repairs or meniscectomies is very high, especially in the younger, more athletic population. A total knee replacement, also known as a total knee arthroplasty, is a surgical intervention where they take out your entire knee joint and replace it with an artificial implant. Total knee replacement is often recommended for those with advanced degeneration from osteoarthritis or those who have had significant knee trauma over several years. Candidates for total knee replacements are typically those who have tried conservative treatments, have tried to gain mobility or tried to gain strength, and it just hasn't gotten them back to where they need to be to get things done in their life. When a surgeon is determining your eligibility for a total knee replacement, often they'll look at your age, your overall health, and your ability to participate in the rehabilitation process following your surgery. During a total knee replacement, your cartilage is removed, bone is removed, and all your ligaments are removed and they're replaced with a artificial implant. Recovery from a total knee replacement can vary from 12 to 16 weeks and can be dependent upon the individual. During physical therapy, be expected to gain mobility at first. Once you have some mobility and you feel very confident walking, you'll then start to work on strengthening, including getting up and out of chairs and walking up and down stairs. And finally, any high level activities that you want to be able to do, such as going to the gym or even running again. Current total knee replacements have a very high success rate in getting people to have reduced pain and improved mobility. When comparing these two types of surgeries, there's some key factors to keep in mind. Meniscus repairs are typically reserved just when you have a meniscus tear, but a total knee arthroplasty can be used for any type of advanced osteo osteoarthritis, advanced degeneration, or any type of trauma that can happen to the knee. Another difference in the types of surgeries is that a meniscus repair is typically used when you wanna preserve the knee joint in its natural form. So you'll be keeping your bones, your ligaments, and any other structures that keep your knee stable. When you have a total knee replacement, you are changing the entire joint structure into something that is a prosthesis and is th synthetically made. The rehabilitation process for meniscus repair and a total knee arthroplasty 
can vary based on the individual with a longer time typically needed for a total knee arthroplasty. When choosing between these two types of surgeries, there are lots of factors that you need to take into consideration. You need to think about your age and your activity level and all the factors that go into how you live your life. It's gonna be very important for you to consult with a healthcare provider or surgeon so that they can give you their best recommendation on the route you should go with your surgery. A physical therapist can be a great resource for you if you have more questions about what the rehabilitation process would look like for either a total knee arthroplasty or a meniscus repair. Click the link in our description below to watch the video, What is a Physical Therapy Examination? This video will give you a step-by-step -step guide on what to expect during the physical therapy evaluation process. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to help you on your physical therapy and wellness journey.